Don't walk away, girl Before this night is over Don't walk away, girl Come and rush your head up on my shoulder. Hey, Real TV Films, this is Kelly Calabrese at Sundance 2012, and I'm with Craig Zobel, the writer and director of Compliance, a film that is getting a lot of buzz and nervous laughter. Your premiere was just gangbusters. Tell us about it, what it felt like. Uh, yeah, it was, uh, it, the film is, uh, the film is a, a challenging film in some ways. It's a pretty so sober, uh, somber movie, and, um, and, uh, it made a lot of people uncomfortable in the theater. Um, hopefully, with like made them reflect. I, I, I think. I mean, that was sort of all our intention. But um, yeah, the 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 Q and A afterwards was uh, quite spirited. I guess you would say. <laughs> um, but that but must it, be amazing to get that type of a reaction. It was. You know, what was interesting about it was that that um, and a couple of people have like you know mentioned the the Q and A. It was. It was like there was people yelling and things were happening like that. Um, but uh, it, what was interesting was that people started talking and expressing opinions, negative opinions about the movie, and then other people stood up and started defending the movie before I even actually got down to the front of the the stage. So like the conversation was happening before like me or the cast or any of the other filmmakers could actually even like participate like it was just starting uh which is which is ultimately great because it was a movie that was made um to sort of hopefully engender conversation about some things and so it was great right to get that type of visceral reaction and there's a lot of points that you are trying to get across in this a lot of issues so tell us about some of those yeah well i mean the film is about uh, the, it, it takes uh it's about it's a psychological thriller and it takes place in a um a fast food restaurant which is a weird place for a psychological <laughs> thriller but um it's based on a true story that i read um about this manager of a fast food restaurant who gets called to uh by the police saying that one of her employees stole from a customer and the police kind of deputize her and uh at, at the the manager and sort of enlist her help to detain what uh, they see as like a, a criminal in her, one of her employees, uh, and and this all really happened um, several times actually with different in different scenarios, and I was just so fascinated by that that story that um, I, you know it, it has a lot of different points. It, it's about it's about people's um, reactions to authority, like how they the diffusion of authority when like several people are kind of all sort of placed under like a vague authority that nobody feels really confident enough to speak up by themselves mm -hmm. things like that like which I just found super interesting and, and I recognize times not certainly not times that were like as dramatic and crazy as what this is but I, I could recognize in myself like experiences that I had definitely sort of gone along with something that I didn't feel was right mm -hmm. but I didn't also feel like I knew how to say what to say or do in the moment. Exactly, yeah. Hindsight. <laughs> exactly, yeah, right, right. Well, Real TV Films, if you want to challenge authority or just yell at Craig Zobel about his movie, go see Compliance. Right. Oh, oh, I'm in a rain summer, let's sing out this weekend. Oh, oh, the birds are singing and goodbye to bringing me. Oh, oh.